Once you've met the man of Galilee, he who calms the storms and makes blinded eyes to see. In Matthew chapter 8, I'm going to read verses 5 through 10. When Jesus entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, imploring him and saying, Lord, my servant is lying paralyzed at home, fearfully tormented. Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. But the centurion said, Lord, I'm not worthy for you to come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. For I also am a man under authority with soldiers under me. And I say to this one, go, and he goes. And to another, come, and he comes. And to my slave, do this, and he does it. Now when Jesus heard this, he marveled and said to those who were following, Truly I say to you, I have not found such great faith with anyone in Israel. A man with authority. Well, has, has God ever marveled at your faith? Yeah. If he hasn't, why? The question becomes why, yeah. right? Well, one of the reasons there was because this is a centurion. This is a Roman soldier. And, you know, a centurion has great power. Here's a man who comes to, an, uh, and I'm putting quotes around this, an itinerant Jewish preacher, right? A, a Jewish carpenter. And here is this powerful Roman commander and he comes to Jesus and calls him Lord. This is a man filled with humility. Yes. Okay. He said, I'm not worthy for you to come under my roof. I, I promise you that anything in your relationship with God had better be founded on your humility. Because he must be the Lord in your life. I've, I've said this, and I, I don't want to overbeat this, but it's good if you haven't heard this. I mean, stop and think about it. When you think of people in Israel, in biblical times, that had great faith, who do you think of? Do you ever think of the centurion? I mean, you may think of Abraham, you may think of Paul, you may think of whoever you may think of. But Jesus said he hadn't found such great faith in all of Israel as he did with the centurion. Why? Because the centurion understood authority. He understood authority. He understood that Jesus was a man who had authority. But I think it's really neat that he says, I also am a man under authority. So he recognized that Jesus was under authority. You realize that? Yes. Yeah. Because Jesus was totally under authority, under the authority of the Father. Mm -hmm. he, he said nothing that he hadn't heard the Father say to him. He did nothing that the Father had not told him to do, shown him to do, right? Mm-hmm. So you, if you're going to exercise authority, if you're going to walk in authority, you had, be, you had better be submitted to authority, the authority of the Lord God. So that resulted in, and Jesus said to the centurion, go your way, let it be done to you as you have believed. And the servant was healed that very hour. The end result of this is power. And it is the power of God's word, right? So, it starts with faith. So let's look at that first, right? It has to come first. It comes from, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It comes by getting instructions from God. Right? Yes. Anything that you're going to do, it better be because you have heard God tell you to do it. Because that's how Jesus operated. He didn't do anything. And, and as it says in Romans 14, whatever is not from faith is sin. Says the same thing in Hebrews 11, right? 11, 6. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. So this is why you can't lean on your own understanding.